It is a fantastic cause, obviously. There was no real choice, it had to be children with cancer. Even though it's over, I'm just, I just feel amazing, yeah. Elated, yeah, just feel, it's been such a fun morning. A great fun, great fun. I'd seen the race the year before go past my house and my kids said, oh, you should do that, Dad. So I thought, okay, I'll do that. And then I realised just how far it was, so. <laughs> There's loads of people cheering along the way. And the, the finish line's amazing, it's like being in the Olympics. The cheering points are a major boost. You do start flagging, and to have people cheering specifically for you at various points is really nice. It was great, good fun, uh, beautiful weather. Met some nice people I didn't know who were doing it for the charity as well, so it was great. Doesn't matter what time you do, doing it is the important thing. So I was diagnosed with leukaemia when I was 13, and since then, uh, we've done as a family like loads for the charity to kind of raise money and raise awareness and help cure different cancers. Cancer is quite close to my heart. Some of my family members and other friends and family that I know have suffered from cancer. Um, one of my mates actually died two days ago from cancer. So yeah, I'm, I'm, that's why I did it today. I just went out there and smashed it for him. So. Well, my niece was diagnosed with leukaemia in April last year. She has got to the point now where she's she's in maintenance and there are a lot of children who aren't that lucky. So my friend's grandson has just started intensive chemo and it's going to be a two year process so um, I thought yeah I'll do it for him. The camaraderie and the, the fun and the, the welcomeness of everybody is brilliant. No stress, no strain, it's, uh, it's easy enough, it's a good cause, just, just do it. <laughs> the support along the way, the support from you guys has been fantastic. Such a worthwhile cause. When you've got kids yourself, you know they're the most precious thing in the world. I'm wearing a red jersey because I'm one of the top fundraisers. Sign up for it, then you'll have the compulsion to start training. So the thing to do is, is create that event, set that deadline for yourself, and then you'll be forced to get out and train for it and you, you find the time for it. So, so do it, sign up. Pick a charity, pick this one, just do it. Oh, do it, it's amazing. Anyone can do it. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably do it again next year for you guys, though. I could go further, so I think next year I'm going to try the 100. These children are the future.